Welcome back to the Mexican food channel. Today we're making caldo de camarón. Let's get started. We're gonna start off by chopping up our carrots like this. If you have kids, you can do them smaller. You savvy. Now that we're done with those, we're gonna set them aside. Next, we're gonna chop up the celery. We're gonna chop up about three celery sticks. You can add more celery if you really like it. That's optional. Now that we're done with the celery, we're going to peel and wash five potatoes. I'm going to cut them up into fours, but again, if you have kids, you can cut them up smaller. Next, dice four tomatoes into fours. We're gonna make them smaller because we're gonna add them to the blender later. We're gonna peel three cloves of garlic. Make sure to get all the skin off. Usually when you mash them up like this, it helps take off the skin faster. We're done with those. We're gonna use half an onion, but cut it up like this. Now that we have our vegetables ready, we're gonna go ahead and roast some of them up so we can add them to the blender. Let's add a little bit of olive oil to the pot. First, we're gonna add in the garlic and the onions.
I don't know why, but it already smells delicious. Next, we're gonna add in our tomatoes. Stir them up a little bit and add in one cup of water. We're gonna add three chile guajillos. Now, if you like your spicy, go ahead and add about six or seven chile arbol. I'm feeling a little risky today, so I'm gonna go ahead and add seven. We're gonna add about a teaspoon of cumin. We're also gonna add a teaspoon of black pepper. Go ahead and mix it up. We're gonna cover it for about 10 minutes. This smells delicious. This is how they should look. Now let's go ahead and put them in the blender with the juice. It's got the juice. Now let's take it a blend. We're gonna run it through the colander. We don't want the pulp of this to go in. Next, in the pitcher where you blended it, you're gonna add five cups of water. We wanna make sure we get everything. Now run that through the colander.
We're not gonna need this anymore, this is not bueno. You might have a hard time finding one of these, but if you do, it adds a great flavor to your caldo. Add the whole little carton. Next, we're adding two to three bay leaves, depending on how much you like bay leaves. Next, we're gonna do a sprinkle of oregano, Go ahead and stir it up. And remember, we're cooking this constantly on a medium low. Next, you're gonna add two cubes of shrimp bouillon. Los cuadritos de camarón. Next up, we're gonna add two teaspoons of tomato bouillon. Stir it up real quick. Okay, okay, so my shrimps came with shells and I peeled them. We're gonna use the shells for flavor in our broth. Go ahead and let them soak in there for a couple of minutes and then cover them up. All right, it's time to take them out. It smells delicious. Take the Baileys out too. All right, next we're gonna add in the rest of the vegetables we cut up earlier. We're gonna go ahead and cover them up until the potatoes are fork tender. At this point, go ahead and try the broth to see if we need to add any other condiment. I'm gonna add a little salt. Next, go in the two pounds of shrimp. So shrimp doesn't take a long time to cook, especially if they're not frozen. We're gonna cook this for about two minutes, then we're gonna let it sit in the broth for four minutes. Okay, so after a minute, you're gonna turn it off. Lastly, we're gonna add a bunch of cilantro while it sits for those four minutes. And this is how it should look. Mm. So remember guys, to eat this with a lot of lime, it's gonna be delicious. Let's go ahead and serve it. Don't forget to add your lime. This looks so good. Now let's give it a taste test. That's good. Mm. 
And there you have it guys, we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe and see you guys on the next one.